des projets. Maintenant que n'a pas l'argent adéquat de, de bâtir. Et c'est un problème pour les citoyens de Toronto et c'est un problème pour moi uh, comme le maire de Toronto. And I will just say on that, on that note uh, where the, the question was asked, if I understood it correctly, is, this, is, is the Premier making a logical argument? Uh, I will say the one thing she focused on today, I just want you to know I don't take issue with this. In my speech announcing the choice that I made to recommend to my colleagues uh, tolls, I said, and I quote myself, the introduction of tolls in Toronto would happen just as our regional GO network and smart track system expand and our local transit options accelerate so that people will have a much broader range of transit options. I acknowledged in my speech, as I did in the subsequent discussions, that it was obviously desirable uh, to have other options available to people at such time as you put on the tolls. And the tolls, as had been discussed, were likely not to be implementable for a period of time because of procurement and technology and reports. And so I will just say to you that uh, the notion of saying that the tolls uh, could go on at such time when the transit options were available was not anything that we ever rejected. In fact, I understood that what went forward uh, for discussion by the government uh, was a regulation that would have clearly said, yes, you can do tolls, uh, but you can do them when those other transit options come on stream. And I had no problem with that whatsoever, none. Just, just, I'll just go over here and then I'll come back and then we're going to sort of wrap up soon. So, yes. Tolls were also supposed to ease congestion. Yes. But what happens to easing congestion that is costing billions of dollars to the economy of the city? You know, I think this is one of the things we have to focus on as well, which is when we talk about affordability, um, you know, I would raise the question of whether or not the people of Toronto can afford to have housing that's falling down and can afford massive property tax increases, which would be needed to pay for it in the absence of other means of raising money. I would raise the question of the affordability of, uh, of uh, you know, maintaining our roadways that were downloaded to us by the province. Uh, but I would also, uh, you know, uh, raise the question of whether people can afford and whether the economy can afford what is agreed by everybody a cost of billions of dollars that we are presently sucking out of the economy because people are sitting in traffic jams, not to mention something I always mention first, which is the toll that that's taking on family, family life, which doesn't have a price in dollars. And so this would have been one of the other side benefits that was acknowledged in the road tolls was beyond raising money, or perhaps in some people's eyes more importantly than raising money, it would have served as it has done elsewhere to reduce congestion. And now, I guess the obvious answer to the question is, if there are no tolls, then there will be no reduction, at least because of that. Uh, in congestion. And to me, um, that uh, means it's just one more thing that's denied to us as a way of addressing what is one of the most serious economic and social problems facing the city of Toronto today and the region, uh, which is, uh, you know, congestion that is leading to uh, loss of family time,